At the historic center of Thessaloniki, at the intersection of Hagia Sophia and Ermu streets, is the Cathedral and Pilgrimage Church of Hagia Sophia. Dedicated to the Holy Wisdom, Sophia, and the Word of God, Logos, it is one of the most important early Christian monuments in Greece and the whole Orthodox world. The church was built in the 8th century at the spot of a colossal five-veiled basilica dedicated to Saint Mark, which was destroyed by an earthquake in 618. It is a heavy, cubic building which impresses due to its mass. That is why in written sources it is often mentioned as Great Church. From the 8th century until the conquest of Thessaloniki by the Turks, in 1523 it was the cathedral church of the city because it was used as a cathedral by the Franks who occupied the city from 1204 to 1224. After the Ottomans occupied Thessaloniki, it was converted into a mosque. What remains from that period is the tower, which still survives on the northwestern corner of the church and was perhaps the basis of a minaret. In 1890, the church burned down during a large fire and it was restored a few years later. After the liberation of the city from the Turks in 1913, the church became once again an Orthodox one. The present-day church belongs to the type of transitional cross and square church and is an evolution of the basilica with a dome. The style of masonry used in its construction is clearly the one of Constantinople. In other words, they used heavily carved stones and zones of bricks. The interior of the church is decorated with wall paintings and remarkable mosaics. Wall paintings survive in fragments at the windows of the narthex. Among the figures of the saint monks of the 11th century, we can discern Hagia Theodora of Thessaloniki. The columns and their capitals are of the 6th century and come from an older monument. But the great fame of the church is due to its exceptional mosaics which decorate the conch of the altar area and the dome. They date from three different periods and are exceptional examples of Byzantine art. The abstract decoration of the semicircular arch of the altar area dates from the first years of iconoclasm. The dating is testified by the inscriptions that mention the names of the Empress Irene of Athens and her son, Constantine VI. Here we can see the name of Bishop Theophilos. The mosaic of the enthroned Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus at the semi-conch of the arch was created between the 11th and the 12th century, replacing the iconoclastic cross. The majestic representation of the ascension of Christ at the dome was made a little bit earlier, in the end of the 9th century. It depicts Christ at the center of a cyclical glory, which is supported by flying angels, while lower are the figures of the apostles. Among them, one can see the Virgin Mary with two archangels. The rest of the church's decoration is Islamic and belongs to the interventions that took place in the monument during the Ottoman period. Recognizing its great historical importance, UNESCO has included this church to the list of World Heritage Monuments.